What's going on guys? Bob Busker here at Think Computers and today we have a product from a new company to us. It is CryoRig and we have their flagship air CPU cooler which is the R1 Ultimate. So let's go ahead and take a look. The R1 Ultimate comes in a really great retail box for being their first product. I would say this is, you know, a really fine tuned retail box. It looks great. It gives you a ton of information as well. So on the front, it shows us a picture of the cooler with a little bit of information on the side. It goes over the different technologies and the things that they use on the actual uh, cooler itself. On this side, it just says R1. And then on the back, we have a full list of specifications and an overview of the cooler giving dimensions. And that is extremely important, especially if you're at the store looking at different coolers, having the actual dimensions will let you know if it's gonna fit in your system. So they have all that. But I know you guys just want me to get inside, so let's go ahead and do that. And one thing that's pretty cool, uh, you open this up and, um, it says you should register your product um, to receive an extended three-year warranty. So that is actually pretty cool. So if you do register, you will get that extra warranty, it seems. Um, one thing that's also cool is we have our little accessories box that comes out. And on the box itself, it shows you everything that comes inside. And I really like this. It lets you know just kind of what you're getting and all of that. So if I actually take a look at this... Um, We'll get their Intel mounting system, AMD mounting system, screw pack, and accessories. And this should be easy enough to open up, I feel. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just doing this wrong. Well, it looks as if it would just slide out, but it's not doing that for, there it goes. A little bit hard to slide out but you can see everything is nicely packaged too i really like that it's like attention to detail not a lot of companies do this they just throw everything in a box everything is nicely organized and you can see um, we do have our thermal paste which is cryo rig's own cp9 um, everything is nicely in here i like that i like that it's all each uh, bag has a label on it too um, so you can kind of know where, what, what each thing is. And we do have our instructions in there and all of that. So great to see that. So we'll move that out of the way. And the cooler also has a pit, the box that the cooler comes in actually has a picture of it as well. Uh, and we'll try to get this whole thing out. And we'll move the larger box out of the way. And you can see uh, another picture, picture on top, all of that. And we'll see if I can get into this box a little easier than the other one. This one looks like it might be the same way, possibly, as the other one. You kind of have to, oh, this is not fun for me at all right now, <laughs> trying to get all of this open. It's a lot more difficult to get this box out of here than anything. And I'm just gonna do, the non-patient thing and rip it all open <laughs> so we can get the cooler out which is still proving to be there we go finally got the cooler out a little tough to get everything out but we got it all out and the cooler itself is packaged here in plastic to just help to protect everything so again for the first product some really great packaging here um, and this CPU cooler is massive i um, not sure if you can tell by the video, but this is an extremely large CPU cooler. It is a very, very big dual tower, dual fans. So this is a very, very big cooler here. And we can take this piece of um, cardboard out of there so you can really see what this cooler is all about. So again, it is a, that dual tower design. So you have two... Um, aluminum heatsink towers and what's actually really interesting about these towers is that they're made up of two heat sinks themselves and the reason that they do that is the the distance between the heat sink fins on each section is actually different one's wider and one's smaller and that's to help with heat dissipation and all of that and they've actually it, it's kind of hard to see by the video i'm not sure if you guys can see 
but um, on the side here, you can see that the, there's the black heat sink and then the silver heat sink. So those two heat sinks are kind of fused together into one. Um, so in total, you actually have four heat sinks um, that make up two of these very large towers. This is, again is a very large um, heat sink here. And then we actually have two fans as well. And these are CryoRig's own XF140 140 millimeter fans. And you can see those. And they have the cool little CR or CryoRig logo there, which um, a lot of people have liked. I really do like it. It looks pretty cool. Um, and these use uh, a high precision, low, low noise bearing. Of course, we'll test all of that when we get into our testing. And they're held onto the heat sinks or the towers um, by clips, fan clips, which again, I'm a huge fan of. Fan clips means you don't have to screw anything in and it's for less vibration. And there's actually on each corner, there are uh, rubber vibration dampeners as well. So you have all that to keep that noise down. You can actually see the heat sink, uh, the design of the heat sink if I hold it up this way. I don't know if you guys can see that in the video, but you can see all of that. And if we move down to the actual base here and we'll move everything or try to move all the cables and everything out of the way just a little bit but you can see we actually have one two three four five six and seven copper heat pipes here and the heat pipes um, are six millimeters six millimeters thick um, at their diameter and they are actually displaced so you can actually kind of see by the way they go in when they go up into the um the heat sink towers they're actually displaced differently so they don't all go up at the same um area they they move um forward and back to to have this displacement which again is supposed to help out with cooling so we'll go ahead and see that and if we take our little protective thing off of our base you can see our copper base there and of course it looks like we don't have any visible crazy machining marks or anything like that so you're going to have good nice contact with your cpu um, i'm really excited to get this in i'm pretty interesting to see how installation will go because you know with these large tower coolers it can be a little bit hard to get everything installed um, especially you know with size constraints and all of that um, so make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have our full written review and remember guys if you like our videos why don't you subscribe catch you guys later